everybody, it's your boy Jack here. Today, I'm going to be doing a four minute film review on this one film, which is Get Out. I'm going to be breaking it down to four points. Each point gets a minute. Uh, and uh, therefore constituting a four minute film review. Uh, the reason I'm, get, I'm doing Get Out, even though it's been like a year since it came out, is because it is nominated for an Oscar. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, this week is Oscars week where I'm going to be daily posting because really, I have no life. <laughs> And I've always wanted to do daily posting, so why not? Uh, so today, this video is get out, like this video is a review of Get Out. So let's dive into it. Let's go to point number one. Point number one: building fear and mystery. So what I really like about Get Out is the, um, through these first like three quarters of the film, leading up to the finale of the film, it manages to build a lot of tension, a lot of fear, and a lot of mystery of the events in the film itself. You don't. Uh, for me, watching it through the first time, I didn't really get the the subtle subtleties of the bingo match that they were having. That it really was just an auction, but it was just like the bingo was just a mask for it. Or you don't really get the whole idea of why he's saying get out until you get to the finale, or why the, the maid is crying and like um, and everything. Like you just really don't get an idea of all these subtleties. But it's just such a great film because of that. Like. Um, it subtly builds tension up to the like, um, like finale because it just so, like then everything just comes to you and it's just like wow this is such a scary film because like of all this stuff and why are these people so crazy, um, and it just I really like that because they managed to build tension really well and it's just such a great um, like subtle way of constructing this film. Point number two: the airport security guard. Overall, I really did like Get Out. I thought it was a really great film, and I just loved it. Uh, the only one point that I'd say that I didn't really love about this film was the fact that it, um, like, you have this airport security guy's, um, like, storyline and everything. And I get it. They're trying to really, um, uh, use that as, like, a tension releaser, like, to, to sort of contrast, um, what's going on with, uh, Daniel Kaluuya's character. Um, but... For me, I felt like this storyline was too humorous. It did a lot to, um, like, just really distract from the actual main view and point of the movie. I felt, yeah, I could get it why they'd want to put in that storyline, but for this movie and for the way that they really shot it and directed it, I felt that maybe they shouldn't have put that storyline in, and it could have been a really serious, like, thriller uh, film uh, that it is, and it would have been a bit better, because it really took away from that because, like, the airport security guard it had a very much of a humorous storyline, um, and it just, I feel, wasn't really that well put, and they, it would have been better if they took it out. Point number three, the villains in this film. So what I really like about Get Out is that they managed to have really great villains in this film. Obviously, they, like, it, like, it's, for me, I look at it more as the four, like, members of, like, um, the girlfriend's family. Obviously, the girlfriend, the the um, son, the mother, and the uh, the dad. I felt that that, that they were really great, um, like mem like great villains because as individuals, like you can get their personal vendettas and you can get their personal like um, like reasons on why they want to do this and like their serial killer mentality. But also as a um, like as individuals, you can really get an understanding on um, their personal like serial killerness and like why as an individual how they sort of help out and work as a team and I think that's just really great is it's like it's scary but it's really well done you get a whole idea of the judgments and everything and um, you get a whole idea of why these care like these um, villains are so strongly developed point number four the alternate endings in this film so something that I really like about this film is the fact that they have they use a bunch of different alternate endings, um, which is just I, I like as a movie buff. I, I've obviously watched like Apocalypse Now and a bunch of other films that have had different alternative endings, and like it's really great to see that because like I like the other options that they had with this story. Like even like I just like the other options that they've had, and it's just like seeing them and seeing what they could have been and everything. Obviously. Um, the director, uh, Jordan Peele, like, he was like, okay, we could either go the dark route where it's like, okay, um, the cops find him, he gets arrested, he gets incarcerated, or you could just go the positive route and, like, do the original cinematic ending. 
I just really like that though. I like that they had options there, especially for this film, because it would have just been a really great ending, um, <laughs> like having the other option there. Um, I always like the possibility of what if. Uh, I think that, like, I really like that though, um, and I think it was just great to see and like great to share like that there was the possibility of having this alternative ending. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jack Skinner. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Get Out down below. Uh, besides that, thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Feel free to comment down below. Hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe and hit post notifications if that's something that you're into. Besides that, thank you so much. Feel free to come back tomorrow for Oscars Day where I will be talking about another movie. Because uh, it's Oscars week. Why not? Uh, besides that, thank you so much for watching. Bye!